A point of pride for 26 Eastside churches, the city has officially rezoned and designated them as historical landmarks. For one pastor, this dedication is an emotional honor, paying homage to congregations of the past. The Night Team's Courtney Friedman shows us this latest effort as we follow folks taking back the East Side. This is a sacred place and it's a holy place. Not just because it's a church, but because it's a place of history, rebirth, and now of recognition. New Light Baptist Church, the first African-American Baptist church in San Antonio. I kind of get choked up, you know, um, because um, we stand on their shoulders. The shoulders of these founders who created the church almost 147 years ago after being freed from slavery. I imagine that they named coming out of slavery, they named it New Light because they had a new hope of a better way to live. This cornerstone shows the congregation was set up in 1870, but the church wasn't built until 1941. In January, a group of New Light members asked the Office of Historic Preservation to designate their church. Turns out they were already being considered, along with a group of other East Side churches. On May 4th, the City Council voted unanimously to rezone all 26 churches as historical landmarks. And they really are kind of the center of the community. And the center of Reverend Paul Wilkinson's family. His grandfather, also once a New Light pastor, never lived to see his grandson lead the congregation. The book of Hebrews talk about um, so great a witness, and I think even right now, he's rejoicing that um, this is happening during the time that I'm pastoring New Life Baptist Church. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.